One of our favorite things about a life on the back roads is all the great little out of the way places we find to eat. Usually they're not very fancy. Sometimes they don't offer a lot of variety. Still, Texas just wouldn't be the same without places like Doc's Hot Links. The building hadn't changed hardly any other than paint and paneling. And that's the original benches and counters. Now, even though we know this couldn't be true, Doc's Hot Links is the kind of place that feels like it's always been old. Decades of time and the heat from Floyd Henderson's gas oven have weathered this crumbly building into a vintage postcard. It's a distinct setting that's home to one of Texas' most distinct dishes, the East Texas Hot Link. It's amazing to me, you know, everybody talks hot links. You know, if you're from East Texas, that's what they're gonna probably ask you. It's a lack of sausage with their own special blend of seasoning stuffed into a casing. And I've eaten them all my life. They're good. That's the only place you can get them for us, I know, in East Texas. If there were a food hall of fame, then East Texas hot links would belong in our state's submission, right alongside chili and chicken fried steak. This truly regional dish was born right here in the Piney Woods. And even today, only Gilmer, Pittsburgh, and a handful of other area towns serve them. It might not be five-star fare, but Chef Floyd still insists on some very specific side dishes. The way I've always been told to eat these is you've got to have some sort of hot sauce, right? Yes. Which Cayenne, is? pepper, and vinegar. Cayenne, uh, pepper, and vinegar. Yeah. And you got to have some saltine crackers. Saltine crackers. That's the way I like mine. And East Texas hot links. Those three uh, things and you're set to go. You're set to go. Make your meal and you can make it till supper time. <laughs> A Doc's hot link is more than just some seasoned meat. It's a taste of tradition. Every spicy, savory bite brings back memories for the people who grew up loving them. Some customers are so loyal, they even make Doc's part of their holiday celebrations. Usually on Thanksgiving, that's one of the first stops they make here. And a lot of the mothers will come get their kids hot links because they're coming they to visit. They're coming to visit and they want hot links instead of turkey, you know, because that's part of their childhood, you know, which I can understand because that's, yeah, I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't. couldn't get hot links when I wanted them, <laughs> you know. I came down here with daddy and we ate sitting right there. Same old table. You were a little boy old, then. I was a little boy. And uh, they served us on butcher paper, which we upgraded to paper plates because they're a little thicker. As a hungry kid, Floyd had no idea that one day his financial fate would be wrapped up in docks. It wasn't even in his family until 1969 when the original owner put it up for sale and Floyd's daddy came home with a crazy idea. My dad, he said, you know, if we can get our hands on that, we can we can make it. I said, well, I hope so, Dad. <laughs> and he put his bid in and we got it. And uh, you've been making hot links, links ever, ever since. since. So I've been eating hot links here for 35 years. Yeah. And they're still good. We appreciate you, man. That's, yes, that's what makes our living. They're still good, aren't they? They're still good as ever. Now, every day, the Hendersons stuff, tie, and cook more than 60 pounds of hot links. It's a family affair with many of Floyd's relatives cycling through the roster over the years. But the one constant is his mom, affectionately known as Miss Doc. Hey, Miss Doc. Who inspired the family to keep working when tragedy struck. My dad, he died at a young age at 55, you know, so. My mom, she hung in there, boy, she was tough. She. She said, I'm not going to sit around and cry myself to death. I'm just going to work. And 
And she did. She, she's, and she's still back there making she's hot She's still links. making hot links. Well, time may be running out for the humble hot link. As dedicated as they are, Floyd and his mother can't be here forever. And right now, there is no successor to carry on this Gilmer tradition. What's gonna happen to this place when you and your mom are both gone? You know, we've gave it some thought and then we'll probably hang on to it for a few more years anyway. My mom, she, she worries about it a lot, you know. She don't want it to be shut down or anything. It'll be a sad day in Gilmer when you can't come down here and get some hot links, you know. It just, it's just the way of life to me. It's a simple menu in a simple place run by a man with one simple goal, keep East Texas hot links alive. Floyd Henderson knows that might not be possible, but just like his mother all those years ago, well, there's no use sitting around crying about it. No matter what the future holds, Doc's Hot Links is open now. And so now is the time to get cooking. It, it's a labor of love, I guess you could say. I guess that's the reason we've hung on all, all these years, you know, it's, it's something my dad was so proud of and he was, he knew that if he could get his hands on it, he could make it, and he knew what he was talking about, you know. It's been a good life. It's taken good care of us, and I hope it's a few more years. 